Okay, so something kind of weird just happened. Ferrari, the supercar building juggernaut, have just painted a new engine. And this engine is kind of insane. You see, this is a hydrogen powered internal combustion engine, which isn't so weird. We have covered hydrogen on this channel countless times. I love the technology and I believe that it is viable and so do many others, including billion dollar companies. But Ferrari's engine is a little different. You see, their new patent shows an unconventional upside down hydrogen inline six engine. I shit you not. This is the motor described in the document. Now, the motor was spearheaded by Fabrizio Favaretto, Ferrari's vehicle and powertrain architecture's innovation manager. And the Italian Marx patent application unveils a daring vision that challenges established norms and propels the boundaries of performance and sustainability into uncharted territory. So, let's talk about it. At the heart of Ferrari's audacious concept lies an inverted hydrogen inline six engine. Now this design isn't completely new, it's a configuration reminiscent of iconic World War II fighter aircrafts. And there is a reason behind them flipping the motor over. You see by positioning the engine upside down with the crankshaft at the top, Ferrari engineers have unlocked new avenues for aerodynamic refinement. This unorthodox layout facilitates the installation of a more aggressive diffuser at the rear of the vehicle, amplifying downforce and overall performance to unprecedented levels. Now, this same diffuser could be fitted to a car with a normal engine, um, but the car would be longer and Ferrari wants to keep the wheelbase short. So I'm curious to see what the actual car looks like that they are planning. Anyways, back to the topic of the video, the engine. As with most new hydrogen combustion engines, Ferrari's hydrogen inline six engine embraces forced induction to achieve high power levels and good efficiency. The patent outlines a plethora of forced induction methodologies, including coaxially mounted centrifugal compressors propelled by an electric motor, an MGU-H system harnessing exhaust gas turbine energy, and direct mechanical superchargers driven by the dual clutch transmission shaft. Not one of these are specified as the route that they want to go down, but this does tell us that the new engine will have some form of forced induction. But I hear you guys, and trust me, I had the same thought. How the hell do you service an upside down engine? Won't gravity be a problem? Another thing, um, won't the oil seep past the pistons into the combustion chamber? I mean, that would kind of be bad. It can lead to hydro locking at worst, and at best you'll still be burning oil, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a hydrogen powered engine. While Ferrari addresses some concerns about serviceability, you see Ferrari has devised an ingenious solution to ensure effortless maintenance for you its unconventional power plant. By integrating oil and coolant pumps driven by the camshafts, essential components remain readily accessible, streamlining maintenance procedures and minimizing downtime. Additionally, a segment of the diffuser doubles as an engine cover, affording convenient access to critical engine elements. So in theory, it shouldn't be difficult, but I have worked on new engines and they are already super complicated and they aren't even fighting gravity. But let's continue with what we know. While Ferrari's upside down hydrogen inline six engine may appear radical, it serves a pragmatic purpose beyond mere performance enhancements. The unique fuel tank arrangement comprising of four tanks capable of storing high pressure hydrogen gas optimizes weight distribution and enhances vehicle dynamics. Moreover, Advanced pressurized dry sump oiling systems address concerns regarding oil and potential hydrolock issues associated with inverted engines, ensuring reliable operation under demanding conditions. I still wonder what happens when you switch the motor off. Where does the oil go that was at the rods? What stops the oil from going into the pistons? I feel like their design leaves me with more questions than answers. Anyways, let's end this video off on a good note. Ferrari's pursuit of hydrogen-powered innovation represents a paradigm shift in the preservation of the internal combustion engine's legacy. By embracing cutting-edge technologies and pushing the boundaries of conventional design, Ferrari underscores its unwavering commitment to sustainability without compromising performance. Now, hydrogen itself has been proven by many companies to work in a performance motor, and I've talked about it many times. So that I don't question, but I do feel like they might be overcomplicating it a bit. But at the end of the video, let me know what you think. 
Um, do, you, do you think that they are overcomplicating it like I do? Um, do you like the idea of an upside down engine? Is there more problems that I didn't even talk about? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I. Thank you.